my name is Philip. I've been working with film, animation and visual effects for more than 24 years now and I want to share some of my experience with you. Today I want to show you how I turn this simple looping animation into this cinematic clip. First, we take this basic, simple looping animation from the mannequin and export as an FBX. I then import this FBX into Unreal and I set the skeleton to the base metahuman skeleton. When imported initially, it's gonna look strange and distorted, but not to worry. All I do is I display show retargeting options first. I go to my spine, right click and set it to skeleton. You will have to scroll down sometimes and make sure that it's recursively set to skeleton, all of them. Make sure that the top ones are set to animation scale and animation. Once we have done that, we import the metahuman into our sequencer. We right click on the body and we look for the run we just imported and set that run cycle. And as you can see, it looks kind of strange and weird, but this is just the initial base we're gonna work from. I find the body, I click on control rig and I make sure that I click the layered and I select the metahuman control rig. And voila, here's where the magic happens. We can start animating on top of the mocap animation that's already there. This is a new feature that previously wasn't there. And I'll show you how great it is for your workflow. The back looks a bit distorted from this particular animation. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to select the spine bones and I'm going to set a keyframe. I do that by clicking S on the keyboard and I adjust the bones accordingly. So he looks a little bit more human. What I also usually do is I make sure I set a keyframe for all of the bones in the body. So really quickly, what I'm doing now is I'm adding a few poses on my sequencer to add a little bit of animation on the top of the looping animation, just to have a base to work from. Once that done, I will drag the character into an environment. And this particular environment is a Victorian alley, which fits to this particular scene. I'm gonna kill the lights and gonna add my own lights and I don't like the, the ground so I'm gonna replace the ground with some more Victorian looking stones. And as you can see here, I'm starting to replace the lights with something that fits to the tone of what I'm looking for. And here I am putting the character in the overall blocking I want him to run from one end of the alley to the other and I'm timing that out and I'm putting my base camera positions and I'm gonna add in my werewolf and do the same and now we can see I have the overall blocking set up they are both running from one end of the alley to the other and the camera is following them and as you can see my camera starts a little bit more sideways and then ends up a bit more frontal in this particular instance, I'm using a 85 millimeter lens because I want the werewolf to look a bit more scary and big. If I was using a longer lens, or I mean a wider lens, the werewolf look smaller in comparison to the man and I want him big. So by using an 85 millimeter lens, the perspective is more compressed and he will look bigger. And as you can see, I'm also adjusting lights as I keep going 
since I like to build the lights as I'm building my scene to build some uh, atmosphere while I'm animating. And now I have blocked out the main distance and the main action is going to happen in the shot. I'm going to keep polishing the animation. I'm adding a bit more life to his arms since they are very loopy. It's the same animation just repeating over again. And using these layers, I can add some variation to the arms and make it a bit more alive. This is really amazing. It's really great for the workflow. Once I have polished up the animation, I am adding more lights to the scene to give the right atmosphere that I want for this particular shot. And I want the shot to start with some dramatic shadow over the ground, seeing his feet running and we see the shadow of the wolf. And the camera pans up and reveals the wolf chasing the man. And here's a quick reminder, please make sure to back up your scene several times a day. You will thank me for this. I'm adding a bit of fake volumetrics to the scene. And in this instance, I'm using these easy fog plates that you can buy on the marketplace. They're created by William Foucher and they are really great. Once I'm satisfied with the lights and the animation, I'm gonna render this sequence out. I'm gonna talk more about render in a later video. And finally, after render, I'm gonna polish it up with a little bit of extra grading to give that extra little push. And voila, here's the finished clip. I hope you enjoy. If you enjoy this kind of content, please like and subscribe.